Hi guys, I'm Noa from Tata Sol and today I'm going to show you how to embroider on a simple t-shirt not this one, a black one I'm saying it like that because it's harder to transfer the pattern to dark uh, fabrics but I'm going to show you how I'm doing it today and I'm just going to use um, backstitch today so it's going to be very simple, very fast, quick upgrade uh, for an old t-shirt let's do this so first thing I'm going to do is to open my PDF pattern and I'm going to the last page and I'm going to print only that. Uh, you can select print and then I think it's under pages, uh, you just enter the number of the page you want to print and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I want it to be like cute in the middle of the shirt. So I'm changing from 100% to 80%. Maybe it's too big, maybe we'll do 60%. I'm going to print it and see how it looks. Okay, so it's looking pretty good to me. Now I'm going to take my secret weapon. <laughs> this is how I transfer um, patterns to dark fabrics. It's called water soluble stabilizer or water soluble uh, interfacing. It's very gentle, very thin sheer. You can actually see right through it. You don't even need to put it against the window or something like that. And I'm just going to place it on top of my um, printed pattern and just trace it with a pen. You can probably use also like a marker or a pencil. But if you ask me, um, a thin pen will do the best work. So I'm going to trace all three plants now next to each other, the way I want to stitch them next to each other. And I'm going to show you later what we're going to do with this um, fabric, uh, this interfacing, but it's going to just dissolve in water. So it's going to disappear after we finish stitching, we're gonna put it under water and it will just dissolve and disappear. I will show you every step later in the video. Take your uh, pattern that you transferred and now place it on your shirt exactly where you want to stitch it. And I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to center it first. And then I'm going to use a few pins to attach it to the front of the shirt um, because we're going to embroider only the front and we don't want it to move. I'm also going to place my hoop next. I will show you exactly how I do it. Okay, so unscrew your hoop and then take the smaller one, the inner hoop and place it between uh, the sides of the shirt, just inside. And then take your bigger hoop, the one with the screw, and place it on top of the uh, fabric and everything. And just make sure it's very tight. And you can uh, screw it a little bit more. And we are ready to stitch. Um, I'm going to stitch today only with backstitch. Why? Because I wanted it to be a very very easy tutorial for beginners if you want to see how I'd, how I would normally stitch this design you can check out um, my tutorials here you can see it now on the screen um, and you can also see the links in the description box so let's go ahead and start stitching this one uh, what you're seeing me doing I'm splitting the thread usually thread come with six strands and I'm going to use only three because I want it to be thin because it's a very very small pattern you will see me uh, wearing it later uh, I made really small plants because we made it from 100% to 60% remember so it's very small okay so I'm tying the knot in one end and in the other end of the thread I'm gonna place my needle now if you want to see uh, a full tutorial for backstitch, I have it already ready and filmed and published for you guys. You can check the link in the description box and also here on the screen in the card section. 
but I'm also going to explain it now. So basically you start with your first stitch, which is going to be like a regular stitch. You go up from one side, you go ahead and bring your needle back to the other side, just a regular stitch. But from now on, you're gonna go back. This is why it's called back stitch. You're gonna go ahead, um, usually I would say like half an inch or a quarter of an inch, but now we're going to stitch something very small, so we need to do even smaller stitches. So you go ahead, you bring your needle, I don't know even how much is it, like maybe an eighth of an inch, I don't know. <laughs> you go ahead and you bring your needle up and then you bring your needle back down from where the last stitch ended. You can see me doing it now. I'm going to do the same stitch for all plants, so you will see me doing it a lot more. Um, you can later uh, use satin stitch to fill uh, the shapes if you want, and you can add little flowers or whatever you want. But this tutorial is very basic, so I'm keeping it simple. If you want to see more complicated tutorials, uh, and if you want to see me stitch on more clothes, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know what videos would you like to watch. I have to say that I have another video of me stitching on a dress. I'm stitching a floral design on a dress. You can check it here and also, as always, I leave all the links in the description box. When you're running out of thread, you just uh, don't stop when you have um, just a few inches of thread, leave a little bit um, so you can easily make two knots. And what I'm going to do now, because um, it's a shirt and I'm going to wear it, so I want the inside to be comfortable. So I'm going to thread the extra thread, <laughs> thread the extra thread. Um, a few times and then cut it very close so then I don't have the end of the thread uh, tickling me or feeling, I don't know, weird inside the shirt. Okay, so we're going to take a new thread again. One side you insert your needle and the other side of the thread you're doing a knot. Do by the way, do more than one knot, do like four or five because it is a shirt, you are going to wash it and <laughs> there you go, it just, if you're gonna see, it just uh, went out the fabric. You need to make a big knot in the end because you're going to wash it and you don't want it to be um, so gentle, you can't even put it in the washing machine because you can, you can after, after that. Even you embroider on clothes, you can wash them in the washing machine. over to the next plant and I wanted to say that if you find the design hard to stitch or if you want to go a different way or, or if you didn't follow the line as you wanted you can always um, go back unstitch what you did and keep going you're gonna make mistakes and it's fine just like I did right now so the other thing is if the pattern is too hard for you and you can change it a little bit and this is what I'm going to do today because I'm doing only backstitch as I promised because I want this design to be very easy and very uh, beginner like I'm going to stitch this plant differently usually I would do like lazy daisy leaves something like chain stitch for the leaves 
so I'm going to just use backstitch first I'm going to backstitch um, the branch like the middle of the plant and then I'm going to add three stitches three back stitches for every leaf let's slow down and I'm gonna show you how I do it they're very very small so it might be hard to see but I'm going to do one that's going a little bit with an angle to the top of the plant and then another stitch that goes down towards the pot of the plant and then the last one will close this kind of triangle back to the branch I'm going to do something similar for this plant. I already done the pot because I want to show you uh, how I did the plant. I'm sure you already understand how to backstitch this uh, pattern. So first I'm going to backstitch the middle of the leaf and then I'm going to use again just backstitch for the leaves. So it will be only two backstitch for each leaf. So let's slow down again and I will show you exactly how. I'm stitching from the base of the leaf straight to where the point of the leaf ends and then my next stitch will be again from the base of the leaf to where my last stitch ended which is the point of the leaf, the end of the leaf. That's it. I have to say that it took me about, I think, 20 minutes for each plant. So this project will probably take you an hour, maybe an hour and a half if you're new to embroidery. You don't have to stitch everything at the same time. You can work on it now and then when you have the time, but it's fairly a quick, um, a quick project to do. What I'm doing now is just cut off the um, excess interfacing because this material turns to something like gel when the water touch it um, and I wanted you to see so here I am spraying you don't need to spray I will show you later how to do it I just wanted you to see how when you spray water on it it will just turn to gel and then you can just peel it off when you wash it under water it will just go off by itself you don't need to walk so much it's just for you to see so after we're done with our little experiment let's do the real thing you take your shirt with the interfacing and everything and just wash it under water cold water will be fine don't be afraid to rub it under the water and help everything get off and now just let it dry I use my kids uh, play gym for that and you are all done! Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials. You can also um, check the little bell and then you will get updates as soon as my uh, videos are uploaded. And I would love to hear your thoughts your request for new videos and um, I'm now getting back to uploading a video once a week I had a baby wow. I had a baby um, eight and a month half ago uh, his name is Adam and we're very happy and thrilled and I love him <laughs> uh, but now it's time to uh, get back on track and uploading more content for you guys so let me know which uh, videos would you like to watch which tutorials and things you would like to learn and I will be here in the next video hopefully next week and 
Another thing, if you need to ask me something, you can uh, always comment uh, on any of on my videos and you can also follow me on Instagram and contact me there. Um, you can see it here right now. That is all studio. Um, thank you very much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Um, and you can also um, click the click on the bell, I think. Okay, crack. <laughs> um, so. so.